What is up, Generals? We are back with Ultimate General Civil War. This is the Union Major General playthrough, and we are heading into the Battle of Yucca. So after my rambly video the other day, we've prepared uh, two divisions out of two corps to head into the mission. This is the force I'll be bringing. It is uh, six, seven infantry, two artillery, a long range and a short range, and uh, a sharp skirmisher unit. So these units have taken a bit of a hit in terms of their experience after uh, the horrendous casualties coming out of uh, coming out of Antietam. Um, but that's you know that's why we're we're jumping back in here. So for Yuko, you can bring ten units. So I've prepped up ten units, and we're just going to make sure that we bring uh, the right division and the right. Um, brigades from that division. So the uh, Battle of Yucca, there's a Confederate position essentially dug in, dug, that's the word, dug in uh, around this uh, area here. And at least in my past playthroughs, and admittedly this is on Brigadier General, um, they don't do a great job defending over here. And otherwise you're just attacking right into their teeth, you know, over open ground. And what do we keep talking about? The game gives you an opportunity to sacrifice your men um, needlessly. So one rebel division has taken position to halt your advance. If you attack the rebels and clear, you have to attack the rebels and clear the way. Uh, that is an accurate statement. Let's just make sure that we're bringing the right things here. These guys are all at full strength. These are the sharp. Yep. Good. 24s, wireds. Excellent. Yep. This is good. All right. So this is not the kind of battle in my mind that really rewards the use of cavalry, unfortunately. And uh, the Confederates are dug in basically around here and then here. Uh, so I have sometimes flirted with the idea of attacking over here, but then you're looking at the issue that, uh, let me see if you can see, and not really well. You're attacking from here uphill over a river into woods. And that's the sort of defensive terrain that we've been basically abusing for the course of this whole campaign. So what we're instead going to do is attack over here. We're still going over a river and into woods. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There's not really a great way to get around that particular problem, but this is less steep and a, a shallower river. And then if you can take this sort of triangle here, you can theoretically win the battle with just this sort of triangle of, of trees. But if you can shoot across the woods and push in, they're not going to be, because they're going to be in trench works and stuff like that, they're going to be a little bit um, not well equipped to handle you uh, occupying or shooting at them from that direction. Plus there's the fact that we keep talking about um, uh, trench works basically being death traps and that's less in less the case as the game continues to advance and I guess the armies historically figure out how trenches work essentially um, but uh, there's still the fact that many units can shoot at one unit and while you may not get a bunch of kills you'll start negatively affecting their morale pretty damn quick PDQ so we're going to go ahead and move up this little uh, strip of clear land here and then attack just generally from this direction. We have, it would appear, a slight numerical advantage, uh, interestingly. So that's the, I guess, the effect of our aggressive uh, number management game um, coming, to full, coming to bear fruit. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm really trying to avoid walking in the woods as much as possible. Um, I will adjust if need be. So if I decide that I'm taking a lot of artillery fire, I might uh, move back into the woods and then walk up this way and just take a minute to rest up. But let's just go ahead and get it going. I'm going to give the artillery a minute to breathe, uh, so to speak. And that's just because I don't want them out in front of the infantry. I don't want them being shot at before I have a better idea of what's happening on the battlefield. And I'm actually going to go ahead and strip off some skirmishers from the 2nd Division and see if I can't do a little bit of recon in the open here um, just so that I'm not blind. I, I don't want to let myself be 
kind of overconfident in my attack on this direction and then find myself kind of caught unawares. Uh, and a light force of 600 some odd skirmishers is, you know, a, a decent way to keep an eye on some of those things. All right, good. I think we can probably, oh, that's not at all where I was clicking. Start moving uh, this stuff as well. Man, those cannons. Woo! I'd like to see if I can't engage these guys on favorable terrain. Maybe from the woods here. It's not perfect cover, but if I can outrange them, so much the better. Yeah. Let's try our luck. All right, so, so far I've taken, I think, a grand total of five casualties from their artillery, so I'm not that worried about it. Uh, three. I've taken a grand total of three casualties from their artillery. So I'm not, I'm not mega concerned at the moment. All right, because you guys are likely to come online first. Get online. Let's start a general engagement. Let's see what we can see over here as well. I'm less concerned about this. I can just take it out in melee if I need to. I am very concerned about that. That is a large block of cavalry. I can't tell what kind it is though. All right, let's get into the let's get into the cover. All right, don't shoot anything. I just want you seeing stuff. I just my big thing is I don't want to do anything blind. But okay. So we're eyeballing what, a little over 3,000 infantry. I've seen about 700 in skirmishers, 800 in cavalry. I know we have at least one artillery battery, uh, 26 guns. That's, that likely indicates two. All right, don't run anymore. 18 and 17 back up second. Also, don't run. All right. Um... For now, that's an okay spot. You chill out. Push up. Who do we got here? 6, 19, 12, and 16. All right, 6 and 19. Boop, boop. Basically, this is a triple. There you go. So just two by two, three deep. Does that make sense? Kind of what we got going on. Okay. More cavalry. Oh, so much more cavalry. What the hell? One, two, there's 1,200 cavalry in the field right now. Goodness. I mean, we're, we're just, that's great. <laughs> those, those kinds of numbers being sunk into cavalry. This is not the kind of terrain where I think you want to be using cav. That's why I didn't bring them to the battle. This is not a cav-friendly battlefield. Oh, that's concerning, however. Okay. Um, so Martin's almost certainly going to make contact. Let me see if I can't get 16 right around here to provide a flank fire. Okay. There's that. That's not good. They're not going to be able to fire soon. And well, so that's something I missed yesterday. Wired's have a pretty great rate of fire. Where's the stop? Just where's the button where you shoot things? My God. All right, figure it out. Just get there when you get there. 
Okay, I don't think Martin's gonna be... Yeah. So that sucks for the second, but it seems like... <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, well, I think we're okay as far as that's concerned. Alright, push up. Um, I want the cannon basically, like, right on, right on it, essentially. Uh, okay. I don't think that... Let's see if we can't... So there's two batteries, 300. If mine are 250, that's two 12-gun batteries, give or take. Okay. All right, you're good. That's all I need you to do. Uh, you rest, you're fine, push up. Push. Provide counterfire. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, 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 okay, we gotta watch our flank now. Excellent, that's, uh, that's, I mean, it is what it is. Here, fall back. So there's a roaming cavalry unit up here, and that means that we're going to need to be uh, basically careful about our rear. Um, I'm already sort of inclined to keep kind of a tight nucleus, so to speak, of an army. Uh, there's just more motivation than there was even already. So you shouldn't be in melee. I'm not complaining. We're just under more pressure to keep things tight so that the cav don't have a place to strike. The AI is much, 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 much better at um, the micro necessary to make cavalry work than I am, which is not a huge surprise. Okay, if we can't get a good shot off, uh, that wasn't worth it. Back up. No need to run. You're fine. So I think if we do this, we should be able to get three units under green. And then artillery as well. Let's leave, where are you second? Let's leave second kind of on rear guard. Frankly, they've earned it. I'll uh, we'll push 12 up for support and then see if we can't get 17 into position as well. And then fiasco, you're good. All right. So it's really only a matter of time before green falters under that level of fire. Um, I was hoping, and I, I don't think it's going to be really worth it, I was hoping to get fourth skirmisher to, I mean, they, they took out 10 guys, which is not useless, but it's also not really worth the casualties I took. That's one for one, and it's not a good trade. All right, so basically we'll just kind of hammer on green for a bit and have them kind of just do whatever they're going to do. And they're going to come at me, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to use the wireds probably to work on Clark and Wade. I got skirms from 17 and 18 just kind of covered my rear. I don't want them kind of running into things. The cav, I don't know where they are. And I'm, at the moment, I'm not terribly worried about it. And uh, the real murder cannons are about to get rolling here. Okay. I think at this point we're mostly just watching things happen.
So I'm hearing someone charging, but I'll be damned if I know who. The wires are just kind of slowly but surely working down Clark, which is great. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fall back into the woods. Actually, fall back into your parent unit. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, sorry, I missed that. Okay, so the howitzer unit has... I wouldn't say shattered. He's broken green, uh, leaving Martin basically out in the open from two units at least. If uh, It's probably unlikely he'll get a shot. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and have them work on Herbert now. So if Herbert breaks, then I can move the skirmishers up and get a couple shots on Wade. The poor, poor boys of the second Arkansas are really just not having a good day. The Wireds are working up a nice butcher's bill of artillerymen. Uh, Clark is slowly but surely getting degraded. Um, and that's kind of the thing is, is you, on Major General, you can't be so aggressive. Um... Good work, boys. All right. Bearable casualties. And they're going to keep on trying to retake this trench, which is perfect as far as I'm concerned. I'd love first Mississippi Cab to try and get in there too. Um, we'll see, though. That's probably a stretch. I'm tempted to try and rush in, but I know that there's two... Yes, weakened, but certainly not combat and effective brigades. And that's more casualties than I'd like, uh, especially considering I can't protect my rear right now. Just reliably working them down. It's not, you know, there you go. Okay, huge, huge opportunity there. Wade specifically. Uh, you need to watch out for possibly getting hit a weird angle. All right, cheat left. We want to basically isolate gates out of the equation if at all possible. Fall back. Yeah, now you can shoot them, cannon unit, no, by all means. Get after it. But let's get Wade just out of this situation altogether. Beautiful. Okay. So that's huge. That frees up two more units to support basically the push. Um, I'm feeling fine in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and move uh, 18 and or sorry 2 and 19 up to support 17 and see if we can't get kind of a left uh would it be a left hook from the perspective i guess we came down this way so yeah it'd be a left hook um a left hook and see if we can't get a couple of shots on the first mississippi in the river while working on their cannon i'll leave these guys here uh and if that's the case you guys can go back to your parents Mm, actually, no. Stay there. So I need 18 to kind of screen for... Um, but this body of troops can probably handle one, one brigade of cavalry. I would hope. Meanwhile, Martin has reoccupied.
Clark is down 100, which is wild. And the fourth Miss M.O. Missouri? Confederate States. Was Missouri a Confederate State? I'm under the impression that Missouri is in that grouping of states like Kansas and maybe Kentucky, where there were soldiers on both sides. Uh, yeah, that sounds more right. So yeah, that probably is a Missouri Missouri unit. Um, you know, for all the deep, deep historical accuracy of this game likely has. <laughs> anyway, good job, Wireds. You're working at it slowly. I appreciate it. And we're just doing great work over here. Um, fall back. Don't take needless casualties. Skirmishers are always kind of a, a finesse tool. You really got to be super careful with them. That is a big deal about why I play on slow-mo. And I realize you're all watching this move at the speed of molasses. Oh, shit. Uh, they're coming out to me. That's weird. I mean, you you might be coming out. Well, if that's the case, wait. 7,000. Hmm. There might not be anything else in here but these two. Fall back, damn it. That's really strange. I don't know if that's a, the best tactical play right now is to spend an entire brigade chasing down what amounts to table scraps, but you know, I'm not going to complain about it, obviously. Um, well, I'm going to say, if you're shooting down here, Okay, that's the sort of thing artillery is not likely to recover from anytime soon. Not before I've seized the, the terrain that matters anyway. That's Clark more or less done for, I'd say. All right, move here and move here. Fiasco to support. Sully as well. And the Missouri cavalry is compromised. I am entirely too pleased with that particular pun. Uh, all right, you need to move because that's not a good place for you. What's stopping me? So all their infantry is likely in... Eh, no, attack from... Don't attack... Well... Don't be dumb. 18. 6 will establish a new front. We got our triangle. That's all we need. Well, the artillery's on the run. This is... Uh, mm, aggression. Sometimes it, it actually, more often than not, gets me in trouble, but... Uh, I think in this instance, we'll see. All right, you have enough cover from the woods and whatnot that, or not the woods, but the, the hay 
You should, should be okay. We'll see. If it's just artillery in here, and we can fire kind of from the wooded position on some of these guys. 16 and 12 are about to do some real crazy work. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, that's uh, actually not what I want. You would think when you're outnumbered 10 to 1, you'd probably just abandon the guns and call it a day. All right, fall back a little bit. Get out of there. Well, if you're going to route, route. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So Herbert, sorry, Hebert is in a not great place. Um, Martin also not in a great place. The skirmishers have paid dearly for the distraction they bought. They bought us, but it's uh, I think pretty hard to argue against the efficacy. Nice, good work, good work, good work. Now, what I'm worried about is them sort of being able to rally because I don't think I know there was a couple of shots on their general over here I don't think we got him no no we didn't okay here comes green you know for the ever so vital engagement in the cornfields. This is what we're fighting over, right? Oh, let's take, let's give it a minute. We'll take the flag. I think it's pretty firmly under our control unless there's some element of this force I'm not seeing. Chill out, chill out. Really, when I tell you the direction I want you to face, I am not kidding. I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, the fourth, uh, seventh howitzer is out of position. Actually, to that degree, so is uh, so is the wired. But green is advancing in the open, uphill. Troops in the woods, snipers to support. 
sniper is ineffectually supporting. Uh, I would imagine this will not be a particularly good uh, attack on their part. That, that however, um, represents a more serious threat. Martin and Gates, Gales, Gates. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, I've kind of screwed the pooch on the cannon, but that's okay. All right, you there, the three of you push here. The two of you, let's see if you can't start working on their flank. I don't think they have what it takes to push me out, and I... Yeah. All right, green to the front, repulsed. Martin attacked by enough things from enough different sides. I think he'll probably also be not long for the world. Uh, fourth Lightfoot, seal the deal, come on. Send him home. Are you running? Oh, geez, I'm sorry, guys. All right, get green out of here. Okay, I'm. Look, I get it. There's a dude here. Trust your freaking buddies. They've got it. I have a far more important mission for you. Stop it. There you go. That's better. The big thing I'm worried about is these guys like seeing like, oh, this is a good opportunity to shoot 12. And so if I can morale shock them or hit them from enough different sides or whatever, they kind of don't have the opportunity to even just get those shots off. And we're min minimizing the damage here. So, you know, 16's taken a bit of a hit, but they've given far worse than they've gotten. I think that might be the most hurt of, well, seconds given them a run for their money. Casualties are pretty light, all things considered, though. So I'm I'm pretty okay with that. Took the flag a little earlier than I'd like, but um, I don't know how much more easy killing there's going to be. There's a lot of grinding to be done here in the woods, which I'm not crazy about. Stop. Hmm. Okay. Second is definitely the unit with the most casualties. God dang it. I, I blame me. That's user error almost certainly. I wasn't paying attention to where they were walking. And now they're you know, whatever experience gains are going to gain from this battle is probably null. I'll lose it in um, replacements. You're fine, you're fine.
So now the goal is to sort of swing over and deny them all of this. That's a that's a harder ask, uh, but we'll see if I get lucky, if, especially if 17th can pull off nailing price here. That's big. All right, way to go. volley from the howitzers this could have been so much worse and it's going to end up not being that big a deal this is a concern but now i can just bring 19 over to support uh we got what four thousand that's i'm looking at more or less whatever's on the field all right clutch they're the hero of the hour right now they just saved a lot of a lot of consternation Ooh, that's uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, 4th Missouri, if you want to do this, man. I'm not going to stop you, but this is not going to go well for you. Okay, so 900 casualties to just under well with the with the guns and everything, just over 4,000. We'll take it. That's really that's really pretty good. I'm actually very happy with that. Um, I would imagine the lion's share of that is in second infantry. Yep, uh, not far behind it. However, is 18 and 16, but really, actually pretty light with the exception of a couple of units here and there. I'm actually really really fine with that. Um, officers promoted just all all over the place. That's good too. And uh, captures the MJ and G again. Uh, weird. I'm surprised that that's the gun they're using. I was um, that was an older gun. Um, also this this indicates to me it's it's possible their their resources have been degraded as a result of all of the losses because we were seeing them predominantly utilize harper's ferries and you know i was seeing a lot of napoleons and i'm like uh, the sawed off is really surprising to see you know this might just be that it's a side battle i'm not really sure but uh yeah this is very interesting um to take a look at some of the things captured here uh, because this is basically an upgraded 1841 mississippi rifle uh of sp Spanish or not Mexican, Spanish American, uh, Mexican American War fame. Uh, okay, wow. All right, so that was the Battle of Yucca. Um, aggression actually worked out pretty well for me there, uh, mostly because I had the recon to confirm that I was looking at what I thought I was looking at, but I was still like worried about, oh, there's going to be a guy over here or something. Uh, I need to be careful, more careful with the skirmishers. That cost me probably 50 
in that last volley in the end there where they got caught in the open. But I mean, it, it's it, 50 is not the end of the world. Uh, okay, great. We'll say this is a fiasco. I will go ahead and take a look. So I was planning on putting uh, points into Army Org to bump up to nine, but um, commentary on the last video from something Compass talked a great deal about uh, the value of uh, the econ stat, uh, especially when I'm looking at building up the army. So I think probably we're not going to worry too much about expanding the army outward for um, Fredericksburg. What I've got should be fine. But we're going to work on getting econ to 10. And then from there, we'll probably bump army org up to 10 and then the next priority from there will probably be training and basically just these in here i don't really feel a great deal of need to push logistics up or sorry reconnaissance up and then logistics might be okay and it's sort of a point of pride to not use politics um just you know I, you got plenty of money you got plenty of dudes so yeah we'll kind of see how that shakes out if i feel like i need i'm, I'm short on cash or whatever obviously i'll pull up politics but all politics does is give me money and dudes and i'm i'm really i'm doing fine on money and dudes so uh, we'll take a look at how that shakes out i'll be in uh b before fredericksburg i'll buy a lot of this stuff and we'll go ahead and clean up uh, the remainder of two core that's going to be going into perryville is 12 units and this is a battle uh, where you're predominantly in a defensive situation, so I'm not going to be using Cav once again. Um, but I'll be using 2-Core for it. So I'll basically be using mm, all of 1st and 2nd Division and then the part of 3rd Division. Um, and I'll m move around some units so that I get the kind of force organization I'm looking for. I might pull in or pull up artillery from a different um, div core for for this, or I might uh, I might pull the trigger on those 20 pounders uh and upgrade second ordinance to 20 pound parrots anyway this is fiasco uh, this is the battle of yuka we are playing ultimate general civil war on the major general difficulty and i hope you had a good time i will talk to you soon fiasco signing out